Hey y'all, this is your girl Jamie here. What is going on y'all? I hope y'all are having a great day today. If y'all are new here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you haven't already, hit that like button and that notification so you get notified of when I upload new videos. Y'all, J-Squad, what is going on guys? Kim Kardashian over the weekend shot some photos with her and her makeup artist. And everyone is saying about how extremely skinny she's looking first of all let's just get this out the way she was in a bra and some little shorts the black bra is a balenciaga as y'all know they got you know they were under fire you know for all that stuff with the kids and stuff and she is still rocking it she like every picture she keeps coming out with she's got balenciaga on still i hope i'm saying that right probably not y'all but anyways so they're saying that she's skinny Kimmy now. Like, Kim Kardashian looks thinner than ever in just a bra and shorts and a shocking new pic with her makeup artist, her pal, Ariel. So I guess this is the makeup artist in the photo, y'all. And they're saying that her bones are poking out. <laughs> I mean, this is also the chick that y'all got to keep in mind. I think the reason she's getting so slim is because of Pete Davidson. Yes, y'all. I think because, think about it. Pete Davidson, he goes out with a lot of skinny little white chicks. And Kim knew she, you know, she, she wanted to be his type. And obviously she wasn't his type. I mean, you know, based off of the girls that he's previously dated, like Ariana Grande and think about how itty bitty she is so Kim's trying to get itty bitty but let's face it she's not young she's <laughs> she's getting older and she just keeps you know she's losing weight but I honestly think it's not because she's so stressed like she's claiming all the time about she's a single mom and she's so stressed and she's in college and you know all this stuff I think it's because she's on that Ozempa shot so she's <laughs> She's definitely get, losing that weight, not because she's in the gym working out hours and hours a day like she claimed, y'all. But yes, Kim Kardashian claims she has already dropped 21 pounds since she wore the Marilyn, well, since she ruined the Marilyn Monroe dress to the Met Gala, you know, not this past year, but the year, you know, last year. Now, is, they're saying that her sculpted abs were popping out in the photo. Those are not sculpted sculpted abs. Those are just because she's losing weight with Ozempa. And once you start getting super skinny like that, anyone's going to look like they have abs because they're so skinny. But she was, you know, saying that she's dropped, you know, 21 pounds because of her fitness journey. <laughs> this chick believes her own lies y'all she is such a huge narcissist she seriously believes anything she says or anything that is scripted for her to say like she believes it like it's insane but they are saying that it's a direct result of her intense diet and workout regimen now I'm gonna call BS on all of that because I don't believe it when you're rich and famous if you can you know cut circles you're gonna if you can pay to have stuff you know done you're gonna have pay to have it done quicker kind of like her face y'all from 2007 from 2007 to 2015 look at the difference she was so pretty in 2007 now keep in mind she probably you know at that point she did have her breast done and some other work done but not nearly what she has had done now I mean, you could just see even from 2015, like the her cheeks, her cheek, her her jaw, but like it's just it's such she has no cheeks. She's and you can see the line in her jawbone, and but she's claiming, y'all, <laughs> she is claiming that she has only had Botox done, and that she's gotten this new thing out called that she's had done to her neck she admits to only getting trap talks 
setting another unrealistic beauty standard. Now, this family, we know they've all had a ton of work done, every last one of them, except for maybe Kendall and Courtney. I don't think they've had nearly as much stuff done. But if you if you got a lot of money and you can pay for, you know, certain little things, okay, that's fine. But Kim Kardashian has had a lot of work done, y'all. I don't care what she says. She can preach to the choir all day long, <laughs> preach to the high heavens. I don't care. This chick has had so much stuff done. But Kim lives and her whole life revolves around her looks. So she's saying that, you know, in the last two decades that she has only had some Botox done. And the newest thing, the trap tox has been done to her neck. Well, the pictures that recently had came out, you know, a few months ago of her at the, I think it was in Paris, and she had her neck all covered up the whole entire time. Everybody speculated that Kim had, you know, a neck, her face done, you know, to where it, Pulls it all back. A facelift and a neck lift and everything else lift. And her face was so, it, she looked so old and her face was so swollen. That's not because she had Botox in her neck. Y'all, Botox ain't nothing but an injection. And she's saying that she's never had no fillers or anything. Just Botox, y'all. She also said that she's never had fillers in her lips, despite her lips being so plump. She said sh the same goes for her plump sculptured cheeks. No filler, never filled ever, one ever, she concluded. She is so, th these are the two pictures, y'all, that I'm talking about that were just not too long ago. ago. She had her neck all covered. I'm telling y'all, this chick, her face, especially in the right picture, her face, and she, look how much older she looks, but it was so swollen looking. You can tell it was freshly done. If you know that everybody's going to be taking pictures of you and stuff, and everybody's going to straight up clown her, like, of course we are, <laughs> because, you know, we all love to hate Kim, but why would you go out freshly with your face so swollen looking? I mean, of course we know you had something done. No, we all have eyeballs. We can see what you do. I mean, but anyways, she's going to end up looking like the cat lady, as y'all see above. She's going to look like that at some point from having so much work done. This chick really believes her own nonsense. And they talk about in the new show, Kylie was like, yeah, we need to set some new beauty standards. Are they for real? Like, <laughs> Wow, I don't know, y'all. <laughs> well, Kim also, in a preview of the up upcoming episodes of the, um, the Kardashians, she was seen working with a vocal co coach when she makes the admission. She said, Kim goes on and says, she tells her coach she's unable to work through some of the voice, neck, and throat exercises because half of mine are probably Botoxed. What is wrong with this woman? In the past, Kim avoids touching on the exact treatments she's undergone, only ever discussing facials on her own beauty line. She's so ridiculous. She's, she also, quote unquote, she goes on to say, I really genuinely care about looking good. She began, I probably care more than 90% of people on this planet. It's not easy when you're a mom and you're exhausted at the end of the day or you're in school and I'm all of the above. Y'all, do y'all know what school Kim Kardashian go to? Because I'm, I'm dying to know what law school she's attending because I have yet to see any receipts of her being in any and enrolled in any, even a like a, a little junior college kind of community college thing. She is ridiculous, y'all. This chick has no common sense. I think she has lost all reality. She's just, at this point, I really believe she's so desperate and delusional and she's dying to hang, cling on to her, her own youth. This is the same chick, y'all. Keep in mind, she is the same chick, y'all. Yo, this chick says she would eat her own poo if it was to keep her young. 
she is so out there and so desperate to cling on to her youth. I mean, she's pushing 50. She's old. These young boys that are, you know, the the newer, the younger crowd, they don't want nothing to do with her but to get a come up off of her. She, you know, to get a little bit of clout. Like, this chick... And the fact that she's getting so skinny and the fact that Khloe Kardashian has gotten so skinny, just like a year or two ago, Khloe, I used to call her horse trouter because the way she would like when she would walk in some of the episodes, if y'all go back when her butt was so huge, go back and watch some of the episode. I'm gonna have to see if I can find a clip. And, you know, do a video one day about it because her, she would tra like she when she would walk, she would trout like a horse. I mean, you know how a horse goes boom, boom, you know, with their butt left to right. You know, I mean, that's how she was walking like a straight up horse. And now she's itty, like she's the skinniest one. She's itty bitty. Now, I'm sorry, y'all, but you can't go from being like that and having all of that behind and all of this and that the hips and everything else that these two girls had to being like a hundred pounds dripping wet y'all it no now i'm not saying it ain't possible if you work out and you work out now the difference between chloe and kim y'all in my opinion if you look at their arms and just some of the muscle, like in, you know, within, you know, their bodies, you can see a little more muscle in Chloe. And I think it's, I believe they're, they're both taking Ozempa. And that's fine, you know, and dandy if that's what they want to do because they're rich and they think they can. Hey, more power to them. Good luck with all the side effects eventually. <laughs> when you're, when they start looking like the cat women, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. Ooh, Kim. Oh, this child. Mm. I think they both really need a good therapist and a bottle of medication or something. I don't know if that would even help them. But y'all, Kim, she just, she is too over the top with this. And the lies that keep pouring out this child's mouth. She, you could tell she is definitely had a ton of work done to her. This is not a body that your body is not meant like maybe she believes her own lies and her own hype and her own BS that she thinks she's telling the, you know, she's feeding the world and that she expects everybody to believe. But we all got eyeballs and the human body cannot take and go from I, I say she was good. I don't know. One fifty, one sixty, I guess. I don't know. And then go to like one hundred and twenty or whatever she is, one hundred and thirty now there. I mean. I guess it's possible, but y'all, this chick had that big old behind. It looked like she had like two big packs of wet diapers in her butt all the time. And now she's gotten, I mean, it's, it's just gone. Like, how is that possible, y'all? <laughs> we all know how it's possible. Plastic surgeons. But y'all, let me know what you think down in the comments below. Do y'all think that Kim and Chloe are on that Ozempa? Well, if y'all haven't already hit that subscribe button, go ahead and make sure you do. And definitely hit the like button and that notification, y'all. And I hope y'all have a truly blessed day and a truly blessed week. And let me know what everybody's opinions and thoughts are. And I will talk to y'all later. Bye, guys.